hello guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog i thought i would just take you along for the day maybe tomorrow i was just like i should vlog today so that's what i'm gonna do so it's like 11 o'clock and i went to starbucks this morning and got like a brown sugar oat milk shake espresso that i always get and realized that i had points to get a free coffee so i did that which was fantastic and then i went to the grocery store to get some stuff for supper well one thing i got fries for supper and then came home i've been editing that's <laughs> what's been going on i thought i would take you along because i haven't vlogged well i guess i did a couple weekends ago but i want to vlog more and i posted a poll on my bookstagram and y'all seem to really like the vlogs so i'm gonna keep doing them i'm just like barefaced natural today because I don't plan to film or take any photos because if you can tell, it's freaking Glim City today and yesterday. I think tomorrow's supposed to be sunny. Thank the Lord because it is so gloomy and I can't do anything when it's so gloomy. Like I can't take photos. I can't film unless I want it to be really bad lighting. So it's kind of very annoying. I'm going to prep supper in the crock pot. I'm making like a crock pot meal with pork chops, which I'm very excited about. I haven't done it in probably like quite a few months. So I'm very excited about that. And then I'm going to eat lunch, do some more stuff. <laughs> And I also have a couple books I want to show you. And I'm very excited about it because I just can't wait. So I'm going to show you those. And then I think that's all. <laughs> that's all that's going on. I'm probably going to read tonight. And um, since I'm prepping supper, I won't have to cook supper. Except make french fries, which will be fantastic. I'm going to show you how to make the supper if you want to know. I used to do all kinds of like recipes in my videos so or my vlog so i want to do that more this year i love my crock pot so much it's literally the best i use it all the time and it makes my life so much easier because i don't have to thaw the meat i can just put it in there frozen and then put whatever on it and i'm able to make a yummy meal and it'll be ready by like four or five when we want to eat supper we eat supper pretty early because we are very hungry people very early in the day so also i'm working at my desk today i feel like i'm on my couch all the time especially when it's so gloomy but i was like i need to be in here to like help me get motivated because it's so freaking gloomy but one thing i need to do is update my wedding guide for 2023 lily just brought me her toy um i want to do that because i've done some weddings and stuff since updating my guide and i want to update it with pictures also need to update my website with pictures things like that um and going to finish editing my january wrap-up i talked for so long i was trying to make it shorter and it's currently 26 minutes so also y'all watching the bachelor i am watching the bachelor i have a couple people that i talk about it with gone bookstagram but if you're watching it let me know i would love to chat about it i feel like this is gonna be a really good season i feel like it's gonna be less drama and more like about the love which is what i like about the bachelor the bachelorette but i feel like it's become all about the drama this the past few years which is not my fave so i've been enjoying that i just started last week mm -hmm. so sweet and it's really good i feel like this is gonna be a good season i hope and sean lowe was in the first episode and i love sean lowe he's one of my favorite bachelors and him and Catherine are just the cutest and the funniest and their kids are adorable so Anyways, me and the dogs are here. Ethan works a half day today, so he'll be home probably at like afternoon maybe. That's the day. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for being here. I'm so sorry about the squeaking in my chair and I'm excited to take you along. Hopefully we're gonna make the winter blues. They're <laughs> not really winter blues, but like you know how it's so gloomy in the winter, you just don't wanna do anything. We're gonna combat that and we're gonna get stuff done. But we're also going to enjoy and relax. That's what we want. We want a little balance of both. <laughs> this chair, come on. Um, we want to get stuff done, but we also want to relax when we need to relax. That's what we want to do in 2023. So dark, literally so dark, but I'm gonna film here anyway. So I cooked supper, or no, I prepped supper in the crock pot, ate lunch, edited some more, and now also did my makeup. I said I wasn't going to, but I'm going to be filming a reading vlog. I'm starting one, so I was like, I'm gonna do my makeup for that. But I wanna show you a couple of books I got in the mail yesterday, and I am so excited. I'm so excited. So one of them I'm currently reading. I started it like, okay. I started it like immediately when I got it in the mail. 
It is Magnolia Parks, A Long Way Home. This is the third book in the Magnolia Parks, Magnolia Parks universe. And I, I get on with the series. I read Daisy Hates in January. And if you've watched my wrap up, you know that I literally loved it so much that I ordered the next two books in the series. So I got Magnolia Parks. And then I got Daisy Hates, The Great Undoing. And I'm literally so excited about these books. I literally cannot wait. I'm currently like 150 pages into Magnolia Parks, The Long Way Home, and I've actually started highlighting in it, which is kind of shocking for me because I usually do not do that, but these books, there's just something about them where you want to highlight in them. So I have been like fully annotating this book. I'm gonna do the same with this one, and then I want to get the first and second book in the series, like the physical copy, and also annotate those. So anyways, I'm just having a great time, and I, this is how I want it to be. Like I want to feel this way about every book that I read, or not every book, that's not, you know, possible. <laughs> but like if I'm buying a book like a physical copy I want to feel the way that I do about these books. They are quite heart-wrenching, but they're so good I'm very excited to read these and I wanted to do a little haul I did an unboxing on my TikTok and on my bookstagram. So you probably saw them there But if not here they are. They're beautiful. They're stunning. Look at the covers I cannot in the back. They're just beautiful. So anyways, it's like 146 and I'm gonna start the reading vlog or at least intro the reading vlog and then finish laundry and stuff like that. So that's all. I just want to show you the haul. Hope you enjoyed. Hello guys. It has been a few days, if I'm being honest, since I talked to you, but I wanted to continue this vlog because I did the book haul in this video and I wanted to do some other reading things so it's a few days later i filmed that on wednesday and it is now saturday so it's a great day it is sunny if you cannot tell which is wonderful because it's been so freaking gloomy that i have had no motivation so i'm very excited it's sunny outside even though it's so cold but you know can't have it all but i wanted to update my reading journal while we're here I'm waiting on my chicken nuggets to cook but i thought i would show you while we're here um i want to do it for February. So in the month of January, I started this new thing where I have like a stats page for the month. So I showed you in a couple of vlogs back, like all of my spreads for the year. I decided to go more in depth each month as well. So I did this stats page and then I decided to do like a full on review of every single book that I read and like have a, like, you know, a good chunk of the page with all my reviews. So I did that, which was great. And then it's a lot easier for my wrap ups too, because I put like the spice, things like that. But on my stats page, I got all of these ideas from like Pinterest, other people, but I put books read, pages read, physical books, eBooks, rereads. And then I did the MVP of the month. I just came up with that. I didn't see that anywhere, but I thought it would be fun to do like an MVP. And then I put the MVP of January, which was Daisy Hates. No one's surprised. And I put a few of my favorite quotes. I printed them. I'm going to read them to you if you want to hear them. I'm in even if she's out. It's not possible to not be fond of you. I think I understand for a fleeting moment why everything that's bad and painful and sad is worth it if you love someone. Because I'll remember how he's looking at me now forever. So good. If you needed a push to read those books. Anyways. Next page, I have a genre pie chart. And I put like the genres that I read obviously in the month. And I use the color coding that I have at the beginning of my journal for the, the year. I did like a key. I did a key right here for my genre. So I just used those colors. And actually I had to make this pie chart on Google Sheets because I didn't know obviously the ratios that it was gonna be. Is that right? I don't know. I didn't know how big this these like little pies were gonna be. Does that make sense? The slices. I don't know how big the slices are gonna be. So I did it on Google Sheets and then just copied it. So I read eight romance, five fantasy, one nonfiction, one literary fiction, colored it in. And then I put, would take with me to a deserted island and then would vote off the island, which I thought was really fun because if I took it with me to a deserted island, it doesn't mean that it's my favorite book, but it just gives me like comfort or it makes me happy, you know, if I was stuck on an island. So I put Dream On by Angie Hockman because I love that book. And then what I would vote off the island is Akatar, A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass because it was my least lowest rated book of the month. Yeah, it wasn't my favorite. So anyways, that's that, but I want to do one for February. So I'm just gonna make it all Valentine's Day-y with pinks and, well, I don't have any reds, but <laughs> pinks. And um, I guess this is kind of reddish. Anyways, so I'm gonna do that. I also want to maybe do one for my February TBR, which I just posted a video of that if you wanna watch it. But anyways, I think I'm going to save this spread for Shatter Me because I wanna do a whole spread. On that I just haven't yet and then I'm gonna do my February TBR 
my February stats, so like just mock it up, and then start doing reviews as I read the books. So, anyways, it's kind of an update on my reading journal. I've been loving doing it and also sharing it in my blogs. So, very excited. I'm going to eat lunch and then I'm going to start doing it. I made chicken nuggets and these spicy fries and they're so good. I just need to tell you that. <laughs> That's all. And I'm watching Rachel Catherine's new video. We love her. Guys, oh my goodness, I'm so excited because like a week ago, I think I won a giveaway on Bookstagram. I never win giveaways ever, but I won one of my friend's ones and I'm so excited. <laughs> Sorry, I thought the mail was coming back again. I'm so excited because it came in today and I have no clue what book it is. I told her a couple books that I wanted, but I was like, you can literally get any anything and I'll be happy, so. I'm very excited. And she said she, there was one she wanted to get me, so I don't know, but I'm gonna do an unboxing. Lily's gonna help me, apparently. I'm so excited. <gasps> oh my goodness, I'm so excited. It says, Would You Rather by Alice and Ashley. I am so excited to read this. Maybe I'll read it literally now because I'm so excited. It's about their best friends and then they have a marriage of convenience, which sounds so good. And I'm pretty sure it's closed door, which is great. We love that. So <laughs> I'm very excited. I've never read a book with marriage of convenience and I've never read Alice and Ashley. So this is a great day. I cannot wait. Thank you so much, Emily, for sending me this. That is so kind of you. And I'm honored that I won your giveaway. I cannot wait. Yay. Okay, that's all. I'm about to start my reading journal. Mm -hmm. 